Hi everybody, Karen Roby here with Chris Matichik for ZDNet. We're talking today about AirPods, something so little uh, and, and convenient, I will say, but something so little is causing uh, some big problems, Chris, for people, some kind of serious issues that psychologists are getting involved in now. So tell us what you're learning here about these. Karen, tell me what you have nightmares about. Are you the sort who has nightmares about planes crashing or having their car stolen or being in a being in a strange country where you don't know anyone and no one knows who you are? Tell me, Karen, yes. what do you have nightmares about? It would be something more like that uh, or, you know, being late, oversleeping for something important or my kids doing something crazy. Uh, that, that would be more along the lines of where I fall with nightmares for sure. Well, you're clearly not a young person, I hate to say it, because <laughs> apparently young people are having stress dreams about losing their AirPods. And it's passionately deep. They wake up screaming. They wake up frantic. They believe it's happened in real life. It is the source of current modern existential panic. And I, you know, I want to sort of laugh about it, but in a sense, I'm not really laughing about it because this has become a serious mental issue. Uh, the article I read quoted a psychologist who said that the, these kinds of stress dreams are actually showing how much, and I quote, emotional investment, especially young people, are making in their gadgets. And it shows, he claimed, not just that they feel these gadgets are an essential part of their lives, but that they're an essential part of their identity. Now you, Karen, I understand, actually wear those AirPods. Do you never feel that you look slightly silly wearing them? Yeah, uh, yes, yes, I will say. Now I don't wear them out uh, when, you know, out in public per se. I do wear them when I'm out exercising. They're very convenient for that. Uh, but I will say a lot of people are, you know, that do interviews with us, these type of uh, interviews and videos and things are wearing them. It's pretty much just an extension of their wardrobe at this point, Chris. I, it's an extension of their wardrobe, yes, but it's the first step with wearables where one day we won't just be wearing these things, we'll be swallowing them, we'll be having them injected into our heads. I mean, this is this is us becoming the gadget. That's why the psychologist, I think, talks about that it's becoming part of our identity. So it's like I'm suddenly part human, part gadget. And the amount of fear that people seem to be experiencing at the mere thought of, have you ever lost one of your AirPods? Actually, I did. I lost one down in the seat of my car, you know, and it went down in between the seats uh, and it was very difficult to get out. I, I can't say I had dreams about it. I did not get that emotional over it, though. <laughs> you didn't go to your psychologist and say, I have a real problem. I felt so emotionally distraught at losing my AirPod that I wasn't sure I could cope with the rest of my day, especially talking to those strange writers on ZDNet. <laughs> no, no, I did not. I did not. It, it caused me a little bit of panic for just a few minutes. But beyond that, uh, definitely no visits to the therapist. But, you know, this is the thing, though, Chris, we've talked about it. We have in the article you wrote, I remember one time about uh, people wearing their AirPods, how many the percentage that wear them in the bedroom. Uh, and I don't mean just when they're resting or, or hanging out, but when they're busy in the bedroom that they're wearing their AirPods. So th these are just woven into the fabric of our lives in a lot of ways now. But it's a question of what they're actually, what that fact is actually doing to us. In that research that you're just talking about, 17% of people admitted they wore them during sex. Now, how many people wear them during sex but didn't admit it in that survey? And the mere thought that those people, even though they're supposed to be doing something with someone else, or who knows, several people, they want their own music playing in their heads, not to actually be in concert, dare I use the term, with others. There's something quite frightening about how gadgets are actually making us disappear into ourselves far more and create a world that is separate from the whole world outside. And maybe people really enjoy that. I kind of like talking to people occasionally. I kind of like listening to what people are saying. And if I block myself off, it's kind of a bit strange. I mean, I don't really want to listen to myself all that much all day. Do you? 
<laughs> no, most certainly not. Uh, definitely not. But I, I think that that is the bigger bigger picture here is that how much we are uh, dependent on and becoming part of who we are. Yep, yep. And, and what's the remedy? Because clearly tech companies are creating more and more of these kinds of gadgets that actually make us disappear into the gadget. And it's quite ironic because, of course, at the same time, you have Tim Cook, Apple CEO, saying, no, 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 we don't actually want you to use your iPhone so much. Yeah, but you want us to use the watch, the AirPods and everything else, which is becoming an even more intimate product than the phone ever was because it's attached to you, because it's becoming part of your body. And once it becomes part of your body, you'll think this is normal. It's not. It's not. No, no, but it is kind of scary. And finding that happy medium with all of this, man, it's a struggle, Chris. But uh, we're glad that you continue to write these uh, interesting pieces. You always give us something fun that's a great talker. I'm continuing the struggle, Karen. It's all I can do. <laughs> well, we appreciate it so much. For more on Chris's articles and about the uh, stress streams coming from the potential losing AirPods, make sure you check out ZDNet. Thanks for watching, everybody.